hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i decided i am going to do a day in the life a realistic day in the life of a college student if you don't know i am an x-ray school student school student i'm an x-ray student in college did that make sense i am currently in my senior year my last year and i wanted to do a realistic day in the life of a college student who lives on her own works full time goes to clinicals full time and does school and is just trying to stay afloat okay and trying to live her best life i want to give you a realistic day in the life of someone who's doing it all on their own struggling just like everybody else so yeah let's get into it this is going to be a day in the life of an x-ray student um mondays wednesdays and fridays i am in clinicals for x-ray school from 8 a.m to 4 30 p.m and tuesdays and thursdays i am in class from 9 a.m to about 11 45 to 12 p.m and then i also work full time tuesdays thursdays fridays and sundays so four days a week of work three days a week of clinicals and two days a week of school my clinicals and my school tie in together so that all counts as my college that's what you have to do to be in the program all that good stuff so i'm going to show you guys a day in the life i'm going to show you guys my monday and my tuesday so my monday is my clinical day from 8, 8 a.m to 4 30 p.m and then tuesday is my class from 9 to 12 my two classes and then i work right after so i'm going to give you guys like a two days in the life like i want to show you guys everything so yeah let's jump into it a day in the life of an x-ray student let's get into it enjoy the vlog if you have any questions comment down below so yeah good morning i can't even open my eyes <laughs> the first thing i do every morning like i have to have my coffee this is the coffee i'm using right now normally i get the duncan pods but they were out so this isn't too bad good morning i look so crazy but this morning we're getting ready for clinicals today is my clinical day for school and tomorrow will be my class day for school so i go to clinicals monday wednesdays and fridays from 8 a.m to 4 30 p.m this week i'm in orthopedics orthopedics is very easy i like orthopedics it's chill for clinicals for x-ray you, you go into different modalities so one week I'll go into orthopedics, one week I'll go into surgery, one week I'll go into MRI, CT, nuke med, um, inpatient, outpatient, emergency room. There's just so many different modalities that you have to go through. That's why the program's two years and you have to do those clinical rotations. So yeah, so that's what we're getting ready for this morning, my clinical rotation, and then tomorrow will be my school day. So yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is clinicals, Tuesday, Thursdays is my class slash school days, and yeah, it's going to be a long day. So let's get ready for clinical. Some people don't know what clinicals are. Clinical is just basically where you go in the hospital or a clinic site and you work. No, you don't get paid. You have to go in there and basically do the job that you're gonna be doing whenever you graduate. I literally go for eight and a half hours a day, three days a week. Is it a lot? Yes, but I can do it. I've been doing it for a year now and I'm almost done. So it does take a lot out of your time, but it's worth it because you get that practice that you need. Always wear sunscreen, even if you're just inside. Sunscreen's so important. This is a tinted sunscreen, so it kind of acts like a, not a foundation, but I guess a tint, but I feel like it makes my skin look good. Okay, you're probably wondering what this is. This kind of just keeps my hair curled through the day. Um, I like to sleep in it so I don't have to put any heat on in the morning to my hair or do any work in the morning because I'm too tired. You literally just let this out and you're good. Watch. Wait. Okay, I obviously have to fix it, but once I brush it, and my hair has to go up, but I like when it has like a bounce or a curl to it because my hair is really flat and straight. It's got nothing to it, but that's what this concoction was for. This is the goat for your hair. It smells so good and it just makes your hair look so shiny. 
So I'm obviously in my senior year of x-ray school and it's getting to that point where I need to know what modality I'm going to go into and if I'm going to travel or not. If you didn't know, for x-ray school, you can travel kind of like nursing does. You can travel, you can travel within your state or you can travel to different states and the pay is so much better. As well as if you go into a different modality like MRI, CT, the travel pay is just so good but obviously i don't want to just do it for the pay but if i could travel and do my job that would be awesome but i don't know yet and i also don't know what modality i want to do i'm really between mri and mammography and i don't think i want to work five days a week i think i want to work three days a week and do three 12 hour shifts rather than five eight hour shifts because I've been doing the nine to five or eight to four thirty for clinicals and it's just not the wave. I don't want to do that. I think I want to work three days a week and have four days off to myself even though the hours are doubled. Stranger Things season five I'm ready for you. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. When is it coming out? It's going to be so good. Okay, guys, I am fully dressed in my scrubs for clinical. Now I'm going to kind of get everything together for the day because, like I said, I'm there for eight and a half hours. So let's go ahead and get everything together for orthopedics. Okay, this is like my radiology school section. So I have all my books, my book bag, but obviously I don't need that because class is tomorrow and clinic is today. So this is like my clinic drawer that's like for classes. So in my clinic drawer, I have like my scrub hats for whenever I go to surgery. I want to show you guys, I showed this in my last video, but these are all my little um, badge reels. This is what holds like my x-ray or markers, my ID, my um decimeter like all that good stuff so i like to pick one like a different one each day look how adorable i literally like collect these look at the veins popping on my hands anyways we have this one this one's like a little rib cage this one's my dogs little x-ray hands so I just like keep it all in here. Super cute. But I think I'm going to just stick with the one I have today, which is some lungs. This is my little x-ray bag. This is what like everything that I bring to clinic, like on my clinical days. I have my um, planner. I have my little planner stickers. Like if I have downtime, this is my decimeter. You have to bring your decimeter. Your decimeter measures your x-ray radiation. I can't show the other side because it says like the hospital information. But it makes sure you don't go over your radiation limit. And this is the badge reel I'm going with. Look how adorable. Sparkly little lungs. And this is your x-ray markers. You have to bring this every day. This is my radiology Spanish card in case someone comes in and speaks Spanish. These are just some terms that I could try to translate. And then on the back is my ID. It's just filled with a bunch of things that I might need throughout my clinical day. Like I have some like headache medicine. I have some hand sanitizer. Look how adorable this is for fall. My little frappuccino so cute my Merrill's book we're allowed to look at that if we have some downtime so it's just a bunch of stuff that i might need through that eight and a half hours of clinic most important to me is my stanley because i'm running around in the hospital sometimes so yeah i fill this up like three to four times at clinic so this is what this is just a key key factor in my clinic day i'm just grabbing my lunch i literally pack my lunch every day i'm not trying to spend any money so if i have food at home i can eat what i have at home i literally sound like an old mom like whenever your mom will be like no we have food at home and you want to eat at mcdonald's yeah so that's me now and i'm trying to save money so i pack my lunch every day so that's another key so my clinic bag my lunch kit and then my little stanley Okay, it's seven o'clock. I'm trying to decide which perfume to wear and which shoes to wear. Okay, so I have these. These are the Dansko shoes. They literally look like clown shoes. Or I have my Skechers. I feel like these are just more safe in the hospital area. Like nothing will really get on your feet just because that's like hard leather. But these are just so much cuter and I literally fell in these. Like these are very uncomfortable. So I think I'm gonna go with my Skechers. Look how cute. Okay, next is my perfumes. I'm obsessed with perfume, if you can't tell. So they they don't like you to put too much perfume on because it can aggravate the patients, but I just need a little bit of something because it's like an addiction. So I think I'm just gonna go with Victoria's Secret Teas. It's nice and subtle, it's not too much. Look at that. That's me and my YouTube. <laughs> 
<laughs> and my little like radiology doctorate thing. My friend Anna painted that for me. Do we look like? Okay. Last thing before I head out, obviously I have to brush my teeth. I like to do this last because one, I want fresh breath and two, because like when I drink my coffee and eat my breakfast, I don't like that toothpaste aftertaste. So I like to do this right before I leave, after I eat, do all that good stuff. So this is probably the best mouthwash I've ever used. Okay, we're heading out. On my way, I got everything, so hopefully today goes by fast. Okay guys, I just got to the hospital. It's currently 7.43. 7.43, I can clock in at 7.50. I really can't film in clinical, so I will be here from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. So I will see y'all after clinical. Like I said, I'm in orthopedics, um, very easy day. It's kind of like, repetitive so yeah i'll be taking x-rays all day like i said 8 a.m to 4 30 p.m so i'll see you guys at 4 30 p.m when i'm done with my day so yeah wish me luck it's monday it's gonna be a long week so yeah i will see y'all after hopefully today is a good day okay guys it's currently 4 38 i am off of clinical so i'm gonna go home shower relax today i plan to pick up my groceries around 6 p.m and then i'm gonna study the rest of the night but i'll kind of take you with me just because i'll give you like the full vlog the full day in the life but i'm off of clinical so i'm about to head home shower and kind of relax until i have to pick up my groceries okay guys it's currently seven o'clock i got my groceries right now i'm babysitting <laughs> Oh, baby. Thank you, mama. This is Ellie, me and my boyfriend's dog. She's crazy. We co-parent. And she's at my house, obviously. So I got my groceries at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, I have class. I have class Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And it's my first day back in class for the semester. So let's pack my school bag together for tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm packing my school bag. This is her, this cute little Adidas school bag main thing if you're in college i recommend an ipad i have the ipad air and i have the pen that goes with it you guys 10 out of 10 i write all my notes on this i literally don't need paper like the ipad is where it's at so i'm gonna go ahead and pack that this is the principles of radiographic imaging and art and science book this is the sixth edition so we're gonna go ahead and put that in my bag as well it also comes with a workbook so we're gonna add that in there because i'm pretty sure we have homework next up is i'm gonna pack the radiographic positioning and procedures book this is volume two of my Merrill's, and then that comes with a workbook as well and i think i have homework for that class as well so this is all the books ipad all that good stuff that we're putting in that bag that's gonna be really heavy but it's fine i'm also gonna pack my stickies this is just some little sticky notes and little highlighter notes that i like to put in my book because we can't write in our books so we're gonna put that in there a calculator because we have physics this semester then i just have my coach pencil case so adorable my boyfriend's mom got it for me and then that's really it some band-aids extra pens my school bag is packed. Okay, so everything is all packed up and ready for the morning. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning. Whenever I get ready for a class, I'm gonna play with my baby. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It's currently the next day. Today is Tuesday and this is my class day. I'm about to leave my house for class. Today I have class at, well, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have class at 9 a.m. to about 11.45 to 12 p.m. So about three hours of classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'm about to leave out at 7.30, have to be there at 9. I got to go get me a parking pass because it's a new year and you need a new parking pass. So I brought myself some snacks. We got me a little orange and then this made good bar. These are so good. And of course, my little water and my bag. So we're all good to go. So I'm about to head to school and I will see you there. Say bye. Oh, bye. Oh my God. Look at him go. Aww. Okay, guys, I'm currently back home from class. It's 1230. I got out at 12. Um, that was my me and my boyfriend. We go to school together and we're just hanging out in the car until his next class. That's why I came home kind of late. So it's 12.30, I'm out of class. So today was the first day of class. They surprised us with an exam. 
with an exam. Luckily, it didn't count against us. It's called a mid-semester or mid-program exam since we're in the middle of the program. Um, just to kind of see where you're at, I did not do too good. I'll show you my score. <laughs> I did not do too good, but I didn't get the lowest grade, but I didn't get the highest grade. So it's fine. It's just basically to see where you are and see how you can improve. And that's really it. It's to help you out, but it kind of like threw me off guard. So I'm just going to go ahead and read over my notes um, until work. That's what I do. Okay, guys, I've done a little reading, a little studying, and now I am getting ready for my job. I'm a waitress. I go into work at 4.30 p.m. Hopefully I get off around nine, maybe 10, but hopefully nine because tomorrow morning I have clinicals and I'm gonna be really tired. So I'm getting ready for work. I'm not gonna show you at work because I'm probably gonna be busy tonight and I already do like my YouTube shorts like when I'm at work. So yeah, I will see you guys after work. Hopefully I make good money and it goes by quick because I'm tired. So see you after work. Okay guys, I am back from work. I'm drained, I made my money, so I'm going to get ready for bed and go to sleep. I might read over some study material before I go to sleep because like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna be at clinical all day and I'm not gonna have time to study. So made my money, made $100, $105, whatever. So yeah, I am going to shower, maybe study a little and go to sleep. Hey guys, I am showered, getting ready for bed, but during my wind down time, I like to read over the chapters before class on Thursday. If you think radiology is just clicking a button in anatomy, it's not. It's a bunch of physics. Look at this. I don't even know how I'm going to get through this. So it's going to be a long semester, but a bunch of physics. And I'm kind of relaxing, watching my podcast. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to do this until I go to sleep in like 30 minutes okay i hope you guys enjoyed that's really it besides going to sleep and then it's repetitive clinical the next day class the next day clinical again repetitive week but that's just a gist of my day in the life i'm gonna do this and go to sleep i hope you guys enjoyed like i said if you have any questions just comment down below I'm not good at vlogging i'm trying to be i'm trying to be so yeah i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comment down below but yeah I'm getting ready for bed. I love ya. Bye.